G'day, g'day, it's another bloody gorgeous day here in paradise, Christchurch, New Zealand. You're with Thomas, PC Guru, Engines. Now, we've had a look at this over the last couple of weeks and this is to catch up with you guys this is uh, based on the ancient um, sort of early 20th century um, diesel engine designs as also implemented in uh, model form by most famously Finn Hansen of Denmark but also others you'll see linked below um, Niffy of Germany and Vela, sorry don't know where you are and this one is by Shi Yi Zhao as you've seen there are some miscalculations and problems with this I think the biggest miscalculation on Mr Zhao's case was to sell this as educational engine with um, definite problems with the diesel pump and the diesel injector. There are some good things about this engine. I want to share some of the things that I like about this engine. I like the crankshaft and flywheel. These are really solid. I like the fact that most uh, fittings that rotate have two tapped holes. Although it, it came to me with only one grub screw the grub screws are easy and cheap and I think when you've got things where you want them putting another grub screw in there is a great idea I love the fact that everything's adjustable for example the amount of play between these two you want to minimize but you don't want to be tight well you can absolutely unscrew this and this and tap that up until that's just right I like the fact that the uh, valve timing is so easy to do on this engine. Again, we've got two holes and each of these is independently movable, each of these cams. I line the wheel and the crankshaft up where I want the valves to start opening and closing and then I can just move this around or this around to where the valves are opening and closing. Really good. Now my troubles with the leaking are mainly due to me not having used um, compression fittings before and my struggles to get used to that, just how hard I needed to tighten things up. Also because I didn't have the right size fitting here as a spare one when I damaged the original one. So the compression fitting in there needed a lot of tightening to get that to fit. But I've found that with all of these um, fittings, do them up quite tight and if they leak then take them apart and use a little bit of Teflon tape on the thread. And that's, plus tightness seems to have pretty much solved these problems. If we look at the, um, so we've looked at the design of how you can uh, move all these things up and down, get those gears just where you want them. Let's look over here, um, how much uh, this goes back and forth you can control with a little um, press fit bronze or brass bush here that you can tap that way and again there's a threaded hole ready for you to put a grub screw in and keep that tight I've also got a little um, uh, I've got a little washer that I've put in there to get that exactly right <laughs> I like the uh, adjustability of this design, although um, Mr. Zhao is working on this, we can increase or decrease the amount of diesel pumped to the injector, decrease by moving this down, we've also got, um, we can swing this thing to the right or left at the top, we can rotate that pump, which changes a little bit um, because here's the the fulcrum and the the cam is on the other end now the cam again is absolutely adjustable and it's got a lot of um, a lot of brass there for that long grub screw to grip so that's great I like that um, 
the pump works well once it's fixed. Again, one of the... So let's talk about the miscalculation that I think Mr. Zhao made. He was advertising this as a educational model. And I think that the interest among, certainly among the people on my channel who are watching this, is people who want something to run a bit better. And I've talked with him, and Darren from Australia has talked with him. We've both experienced problems with the pump here because um, the valves were working probably 99% of the time, but for both of us, they would lock up. So he's redesigning those. Um, he's redesigning... Uh, this to be stronger this this gear and um, he is looking at redesigning the injector and the pump here so for now this is no longer I mean you'll still see it advertised by resellers but he says they have no stock and they won't be shipping if you've received one of these then as I have as Darren has as a few others have it'll be a good machine to start to get your skills going if like me you have not dealt with um, these fittings much before or chasing down leaks um, figuring out that you need to rotate this back and then give the thing a head start um, to try and make it easier for the starter it's quite hard for the starter and the starter will here's the starter here and this is, you know, you need to work on this, otherwise that's just going to keep falling out because it's under a lot of stress. So there are ways to reduce the stress on that. Darren has put a lever. Sorry, let me get that in the sun. Darren has put a lever here, a, a compression, a decompression lever, so this can get a good run up with the flywheel before it starts firing, and he suggests that's what I do as well. To see what this can do, I am going to show you a link down below for Darren's videos. I just want to say, have a lovely Christmas season. I might, I probably will talk to you again before then, but I've really enjoyed um, this year on my little channel and the shared uh, responses and ideas and uh, as I enjoy my collection. This is, this is what it is. It's made to a price. I've suggested to... Mr. Zhao, that people would pay more for something that works better in regard to the injector. But I, as I say, there's a lot about this that I like. You can adjust these gears. Everything is pretty much adjustable. It's certainly been a test of my skills. So if you have a table that needs oiling, buy one of these engines. That's, that's all I can say. And that's what I do this for. I do this to skill up. I'm a PC guru. I'm a computer guy, not an engine guy. And I represent the hobbyists out there with enthusiasm and a bit of skill who want to be involved in model engineering, although they don't have necessarily the skills that a, a expert model engineer has. We want to get into it. And a lot of you guys do as well. Thanks for watching, we'll keep you in touch.